hello guys and welcome back again to my youtube channel so for those who don't know me yet i'm grace by the way single living here in Cebu, philippines and this is another and interesting topic today that we're going to talk a lot about the philippines guys so did you know that the philippines we have a death penalty before back then but after a while it was abolished so why is it that death penalty is gone in the Philippines and the rest of the world have those kind of uh, punishment for criminals so the death penalty so what it is and of course everyone knows already that death penalty is is an ultimate cruel and inhuman and degrading punishment amnesty opposes to death penalty in all cases without exception so regardless of who is accused the nature of circumstances of the crime, guilt or innocence, or method of execution. So every day, people are executed and sentenced to death by the state or other countries. A Spanish as punishment for a variety of crimes, and of course sometimes for acts that should not be criminalized. So in some other countries, it can be for drug-related offenses. In others, also it is reserved for terrorism related acts and murder. Some countries execute people who were under 18 years old when the crime was committed. So others use the death penalty against people with mental and intellectual disabilities. And several others apply the death penalty after unfair trials. So in clear violation of international law and standards, so Amnesty International holds that the death penalty breaches human rights. So in particular, the right to life and the right to live free from torture or cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment. So both rights are protected under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, adopted by the UN in 1948. That's why we have the Human Rights Bill in the Philippines. So over time, the international community, of course, has adopted several instruments, of course, that can be used of the death penalty, including, of course, the second optional protocol to the international covenant on the civil and political rights, aiming at the abolition of the death penalty. So although international law says that the use of the death penalty must be restricted to the most serious crimes, but meaning intentional killing, so Amnesty believes that the death penalty is never the answer. So in 2022, most known executions took place in China, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and the USA in that order. China remained the world's leading executioner, but the true extent of its use of the death penalty is unknown as this data is classified as a state secret. So the global figure of at least 883 includes or excludes the thousand of executions believed to have been carried out there. So 90%, excluding China, of all reported executions took place in just three countries, like Iran, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt. So what is juvenile executions? For everyone to know, the use of the death penalty for crimes committed by people younger than 18 years old is prohibited under international human rights law. But yet, some countries also still sentence to that and you know, execute juvenile defendants. Such executions are a few compared to the total number of executions recorded by Amnesty International each year. However, their significance goes beyond their number of goals and to question the commitment of the executed states to respect international law. Way back in 2006, the administration of Gloria Macapagal Arroyo commuted the sentence of at least 1,230 death row inmates on April 15, 2006, so a number considered by Amnesty International to be the largest ever um, sentence for the year. So Republic Act 9346 was then signed on June 24, 2006. That was the abolishing the death penalty in the Philippines. When Duterte became the president, the plummeting human rights situation in the Philippines got even worse, as the government began considering bills to reinstate the death penalty. So the move by the House Committee 
on justice came a week after President Duterte used his State of the Nation address to call for capital punishment by lethal injection for drug offenders. So for the years past, the Philippines put people to death, particularly in cases of so-called heinous crimes. So but President Makapagal Arroyo, under pressure from the Catholic Church before, so abolished the death penalty in 2006, the Human Rights Watch opposes the death penalty in all circumstances because it is inherently cruel and irreversible. In 2007, the Philippines ratified the second optional protocol to the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, which requires countries to abolish the death penalty. Countries that are parties to the covenant and the protocol cannot reinstate the death penalty without violating their obligations under international human rights law. So doing so would also likely result in more than just statements of concern from foreign trade partners such as the European Union. 30 governments overwhelming maturity in Congress and continuing efforts to promote its campaign against illegal drugs means the Justice Committee is likely to support death penalty bills. So the 30s war on drugs has resulted in the deaths of more than 6,000 persons at the hands of the Philippine National Police and thousands more by identified gunmen. So accountability for these pol pol I mean, police killings, including those that victimize children, is practically non-existent. So adopting the death penalty will mean spilling more blood in the name of the 30s drug war. It will lead the Philippines to descend further into the rights violating abyss, and the government also will lose credibility and leverage to negotiate on behalf of Filipinos who face execution abroad. So along with the Philippines' withdrawal from the International Criminal Court in last 2018 and its Human Rights the Information campaign at the United Nations Human Rights Council, reimposing the death penalty would only serve to further cement the country's growing reputation as an international human rights parish. Since the start of President Duterte's term last 2016, however, he has sought to reinstate the death penalty and almost succeeded when the House of Representatives voted to pass the bill last 2017. So, today, you know, the Philippine Senate is rejecting any of, of all the proposals for the reinstate of the death penalty. So they call on our senators to recognize that the death penalty fails as a deterrent to any form of crime and contributes to a culture that continually devalues life. So more than a decade ago, the Philippines also recognized that the capital punishment is the ultimate violation of the right to life by abolishing the Republic Act 7659. So later ratifying the second optional protocol to the international convention on civil and political rights which further emphasize the cruel and inhuman nature of a capital punishment. When Amnesty started its work in 1977, but only 16 countries had totally abolished the death penalty. That number, or today, that number has risen into 106, but more than half the world's countries. So more than two-thirds are abolitionists in law and practice. So in the Philippines, the organization's work to oppose the death penalty takes in many forms, including targeted advocacy and campaign-based projects in the Africa, Asia Pacific. So Americas and Europe and Central Asia regions threatening national and international standards against its use. So including by supporting the successful adoption of the resolution on the use of the death penalty by the UN General Assembly and applying pressure on cases that face imminent execution. So what is Amnesty doing to abolish the death penalty? But for over 40 years, Amnesty has been campaigning to abolish the death penalty around the world. So the Philippines already passed and signed the national rights last 2006. So when Duterte became the president, there's no death penalty in the Philippines. There's also a lot of reasons to abolish the death penalty, but it is irreversible and mistakes happen. So execution is the ultimate irrevocable punishment. The risk of executing, executing an innocent person can never be eliminated. So since 1973, for example, more than 160 prisoners sent to death row in the USA. 
so have later been exonerated or released from death row on grounds of innocence. So others have been executed despite serious doubts about their guilt. So it does not determine crime countries who execute commonly cite the death penalty as a way to deter people from committing crime. So this claim has been repeatedly discredited and there is also no evidence that the death penalty is any more effective in reducing crime than life imprisonment. So that's all for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video topic for today's video. So next time we'll be talk about another interesting topic that you guys want to know about the Philippines and the history of our country. So stay tuned on my channel and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos updates. So see you next time guys. Bye everyone.